What's going on all you gamers? Today we're diving into Remnant 2 and I'm going to be showing you how you can get hold of this sword right here, probably one of my favourite swords in the game, the Stonebreaker. So if that interests you, stay tuned. Let's come up next. Welcome back everybody, today we're going to be diving into Remnant 2, you're going to be needing to head over to the world of Yasha, and then you're going to want to make sure that you've got the Red Throne as your starting location. You're going to proceed straight forward until you see these humongous doors, and upon giving them a little tap, you're going to be greeted with this cutscene. Your characters are going to go in, get a not so friendly reception, and then you're going to be talking to the Queen of this area who's going to set you with the task of taking out an abomination that's lurking within her lands. I made sure I spoke to her respectfully because there will be another quest chain that I will be linking up the top right as soon as I've made the next video, so talking to her nicely tended to work the best I found. However, in order to grab the Stonebreaker, you're going to make your way all the way through the far woods, tackling a lot of enemies as you go, until eventually you're going to make your way to the Widow's Call. So you will have to make your way through this area as well, but then you'll make your way to the boss area, which is going to be the Great Bowl. And this is a big old boss at that. You're definitely going to have your hands full. Not only do you have that massive beast, the Corruptor, in the background to tackle, but you've also got to make sure that you don't actually destroy this big stone golem that's going to be after you constantly. It's got a whole bunch of arms that are going to be knocking you around, but the main thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you do not take it down whatsoever. If you defeat the golem in this, then it's going to mean you get the normal loot reward, and that's not what you're after this time. I found you could still hit the arms though, which were a complete nuisance in this instance, and if you keep them up, it can be a bit of a nightmare. So I was trying to take them down, I used the Enigma most times, which is just amazing for any multi-target purpose, and if you haven't got it, I'll chuck a link top right showing you how to get that one. But upon focus firing the main boss, the Corruptor, as much as possible, you will eventually get the loot you're after, the Hollow Heart, which you can turn into this sword just here, the Stonebreaker. Looks amazing, is amazing, does high damage, and its special effect, or its skill move, should I say, when you're doing your heavy hits, so holding onto your trigger on the Xbox, this is going to do a kind of tremor effect, does a nice bit of damage, and you can do it constantly as long as you've got a nice bit of stamina about yourself. But yeah, a great weapon to own, one that you definitely want to know about, especially if you're into those tanky builds who love a little bit of melee. As always, hope you're enjoying the game. For now, take care. I'll see you on the next day.